Welcome back to East Shade, everyone. So, I still have to go to sleep. And we're gonna get up first thing in the morning, go sell some feathers so that we can have a room with that new uh, inn and continue traveling. So, let's go five in the morning. The dude's not there yet, so maybe we can go find some more feathers before he comes out. Maybe seven in the morning. I don't know. Oh, just got brighter. There again, the Southeast feathers. Hello. All 
All right. Now let's go. Well, this bear dude's still working. We have to find the the fox that he was talking about. I just realized, should I get the room now? Or wait until later? We'll get the room now, just in case. All right. My great-great-grandparents built this lodge. It's held up pretty well, I'd say. With any luck, it'll stay up for many more generations. I'll take a room. All right then. It's just up the stairs, second door on the right. Thank you. Can I have some bread? Yeah, I like bread. Second door. Can I open it? There we go. These flowers are pretty. So this is my room. Oh, there's some fabric in here. Still no boards. I can't finish my painting. So I wonder if I stay out too late this time, if this is the inn that it will take me to when it gets cold outside. I think we should continue towards Nava. That the bear was talking about? Is the, the foxes are in here? Or the water fox? Water fox dead. Oh no! I feel like there's something I'm supposed to do. Ooh. Uh, okay, I'm gonna guess the egg because I read that book. And it said, eggs. I think I read that book in like episode two or part two or whatever. What do I do? Just, just wait. Oh. No, did it not work? I'm gonna leave it there for now. But what is this? I need to check my inventory. Pastries. No, I need those for the uh, the dude. It can't be those. Maybe I should back away more. Let's see. I did it! I guess I just gotta go... You managed to Ooh. trap him! I heard the shrinks all the way above ground! I need to administer the sound. 
Okay. Well, I guess I should thank you. I was ready to give up on this damn water fox. Listen, it's pretty clear that you're a nature lover. I don't know how you managed to catch that animal, but I do appreciate it. I read Let me show you how to make a snug tent. Should be useful for someone like you. Roaming the country and all. It will give you a place to relax if you need to kill time, and shelter if you find night sneaking up on you. I just paid for the inn. Aw, oh, man. It's okay. Did he... The fox just ran back in here? Whoa, whoa, whoa. You don't have to run away. Okay. Can I go back here? Is there anything back here? No. There's nothing. Okay. Well, that was nice. Let's see if I can actually build this tent, like right now. The tent. Four fabric, a bunch of sticks and some twine. I'm not gonna do it yet. Uh, just because I don't need it tonight. Cause, uh, the, uh, the inn I just paid for. I kinda wanna go talk to this guy again and see if he has anything else to say to me. Guess not. Have a good day. So, there's a path that way, and I'm assuming this goes to the city. Let's go this way for a bit. Portal why not? pick those. Gotta find out if I'll get in trouble or not. Oh, there's another little house thingy right here. Hello. Or eggs. Hello? Adventure Lifestyle Magazine, Building a Campfire. A campfire is a handy tool for those wishing to brave cold nights of east shade. Build one to cozy up your campsite and brew a nice cup of tea. In this issue of Adventure Lifestyle Magazine, we'll teach you how to light a fire of your own. Simply follow the schematic included here to light a roaring fire to keep your evenings comfortable. Strap on your boots, adventurers, because the first step is collecting. Fellow adventurer Lizdell shares the tale of his first time building a fire. While I'll never go back to sitting in the cold dark again, I ended up smelling like smoke, which wasn't my favorite thing, but you can't have a good camping experience without a toasty fire. Cool. So can I make a fire now? I can. Fun. Dear Vic Victor, dear Victor, how I have missed you only three months into my journey and a large part of me wonders if it was an utter folly. I can't help but think of all of the work you're doing in the shade without my help, your dedication to the park is what inspired me to set out in search of my dearest passion. But what I've found is that the world feels smaller without you by my side. For all the endless islands and new cities, I still find myself wishing to spend an evening by the fire with you. And so I have decided to return early. I had planned to surprise you, but couldn't wait. This world is beautiful even still. The vision of you is the one I cherish, cherish the most. With love, 
Niles, Niles. P.S. I look forward to hearing about the birth of the water fox kids. They'll be nearly full grown by the time they return. Um, cute little stove. much to explore. I am overwhelmed. There's a sign there. I gotta go read it. Oh, it's the same thing. Do not pick, pluck, or pull the, uh, the thistle. I already picked one on accident. I'm so sorry. Multiple little houses over here. K and K apothecary. Cool. Just gonna take your cloth there. Welcome to K&K Apothecary, the finest source for all your medicinal tincture needs. If you hear of anyone looking for an apothecary, send them our way. Oh, really, just send anyone our way. It's been so long since we've had a single customer. Okay. We've got the best herbs and potions in all of Eastshade. <laughs> Tell your family, your friends, and uh, random acquaintances to come here for all their apothecary needs. <laughs> okay. I just realized the volume gets really loud. There we go. Multiple kitties. Welcome to K&K Apothecary, the finest source for all your medicinal tincture needs. If you hear of anyone looking for an apothecary, send them our way. Oh, really, just send anyone our way. It's been so long since we've had a single customer. I thought maybe she would say something else. Guess not. Wow. I feel like I'm headed in the wrong direction. Yeah, I'm gonna go back this way. I want to go towards that big thing that looked like a city and not get distracted. Oh, gotta go this way. Oh, I 
see another nest over there. More people. And another road. Wow. I've got to get all the screenshots. much. Okay, now I lied because I didn't realize how close it was. I got I got to keep going. Let's go back to this road here. Go this way. I'm so easily distracted. Oh my goodness. Oh, another little house. if it's a puzzle or just just there <gasps> oh that's so fun oh I love that except now I can't get out of it there we go escape I wonder what that's for Look at that. Too much for my little brain. Is that a little seating area? <gasps> Boards! I think, I think that I should go paint that dude in the other inn. The, the pompous guy. Um, before I do anything else. Shoddy and Folk Tales Volume 2 An owl folk and a bear folk went to the shore in a contest to see who could catch more fish. The bear roared and the fish cowered in fear so the bear could catch them. The owl flapped her wings and came at the fish from above so they did not flee as she swooped in to catch them. So they raced until midnight when every fish in the ocean had been caught. The bear, certain that he had caught the most fish, was very tired and quickly curled into his bed for a long rest. The owl flew into her nest for a nap, quite confident that she had won the contest. Now, the fish were still swimming in the basket traps, and they did not want to be eaten. They pushed and shoved, heaving the baskets down a hill and landing with a splash into the ocean. But when the baskets burst open, the water they breathed wasn't salty at all. The fish had fallen into the lake instead, and they very much enjoyed the absence of huge sea waves. And so the fish grew very comfortable in the Sinkwood Lake and Fellstream River, and they still live there to this day. As for the owl folk and bear folk, they each woke after a long slumber and forgot about the contest entirely. Okay. Where am I now? I'm so confused. That way must be where the tree is. But if the pink trees... I don't know. I'm so lost. We'll just go back to this house here. Or maybe try to talk to these people. I want to see the... the water. Oh my goodness. must be somewhere right here. Yeah, that makes sense. So I could have continued up that road there.
on yet. We can have chat. Why, hello, friend. Glorious day, wouldn't you say? What an incredible day to be alive. Absolutely. Ah, I see you're a traveler, swept in from some distant land. How enchanting. Ah, oh, marvelous place, Eastshade. The only trouble is, traveler, the little mice. The what? The little mice. You see, they've taken a liking to my garden. Not sure how they eat so much when I'm not looking. Must be bigger than I think. I'm standing guard, but it's not working. Somehow they're getting past me. Must be while I'm sleeping. Not that I mind, really. I'm glad they have a proper meal. But how I dream of cooking up a proper stew. Vegetable, of course. Can't have a good stew without an assortment of the finest crops, eh? <laughs> Sounds delicious. Tell you what. Bring me seven sticks so I can finish my fence. That just may do the trick against these crafty carrot eaters. Of course, I never let a friend journey on without a few glowstones to pad their pocket. How's ten sound? I've already got seven. Oh, isn't that perfect? I knew it was a good thing we met, Traveller. Of course, I appreciate your help. Nothing wrong with running around picking up sticks, just don't forget to get lost once in a while, eh? And look around you, smell the roses! I like taking my time. Oh, listen to me, I sound like an old timer! Not at all. What a fine one you are, polite as they come. You'll fit in splendidly in our little community here in East Shade. Folk are as kind as can be. Anyhow, thanks for getting these sticks for me. It's a full-time job, standing guard. Why don't you come back in a day's time? That'll give me time to patch up this fence and see how it does against the little mice. See you soon. So, I'll come back the next day and see if he's got something for me, probably. Maybe. Can I go look in your house? Hey, kid. Kids. It's so cute! Look at how cute! Everybody in their bread. Can I have- <gasps> A baby! Oh my goodness! Well, hello. Hi there, stranger! Come on in! Care for some tea? Or maybe a mead? A tea would be lovely. Nah, let's have a mead. That'll keep your bones warm. I don't think I've seen your face before. Are you from out west? I'm not from Eastshade. Ah, okay. I thought you might be from out west. I haven't met many westerners. I was born and raised in Nava. I really wish more westerners would come through this way. I really want to ask them about the drumming. Drumming? Have you heard the drums at night? I haven't heard any drums. I was just a child the first time I heard the drumming out in the blush woods. My best friend and I used to play out here a lot. We even found a drum once. Wish I could look at that thing, but it seems to have disappeared. Ever since I moved out here, I've only heard the drumming late in the night. Some nights I hear it, others I don't. Doesn't seem to be any pattern. I like the music. It's captivating. In fact, it's almost... bewitching. But I've always been bewildered as to its source. I figure it must be some westernly folk thing. Hmm. Maybe the farmers from the Teethmore Bluffs throw parties in the Blushwood? Nobody in Nava seems to know anything about it. Hmm. I'll talk to you later. When maybe I have an idea of what you're talking about. Look at how cute this stove is. That is the cutest thing I've ever seen. <gasps> Look at all the beds. 
too cute. Fabric. Oh, a book. Green book of poetry, ode to the blushwoods. Oh, blushwood forest, gentle trails, we hiked along, our hearts unveiled. Her cheeks did match the firs above, as we sang a song of rosy love. A chipmunk heard our melody, so came to join us happily. Oh, tiny friend, come join our song, we'll dance and laugh the whole night long. But from his branch rained scores of nuts, he'd only wish to shut us up. <laughs> That's funny. And cute. Oh, candle. Okay. We're gonna... Oh, person. Let's talk. It comes. What comes? It may be the fiercest East Shade has seen in a hundred years. The signs are all around us. You must find shelter. What is it? Death. It is death. I must go. Be safe, traveler. What are you talking about? Whoa. <gasps> oh my goodness. It can storm? Did, did it know that? Oh my god, it hits so suddenly. You should buy an umbrella from somewhere. Oh. shouldn't be outside in this. I don't know. I'm just gonna keep going. I'm gonna talk to this old guy again. Is this what you were talking about? Storm? It comes! Oh. Okay. Now this is going to ruin my entrance into into lava. I don't want to do that. I wanted it to be a nice cheerful experience walking in there, so I'm not going to do it now. I'll wait until night time. I'll take a nap and then I'll go. The storm go away. Whoa. Is that the moon? It's not a moon, it's a balloon. Let's see anything. This is a balloon. Should I wait for the storm to go away? Traveler, I can see you have an adventurous spirit. I've got an excursion you're sure to love. A flying excursion? Right, oh, sharp as a knife you are. This here is the bursting bubble. It has the ability to take passengers all the way up to the mountain top. Why is it called the bursting bubble? The ride is sure to give you a burst of adrenaline. Sounds exciting. I think so. I wish more people had your spirit. Last person here said they'd never ride it with a name that sounded so dangerous. <laughs> it's the perfect name. Oh, good. I thought it was spot on. I'll keep the name then. No, I invented this thing. I really thought it was going to revolutionize transportation. Imagine just flying right up to the tip top of the world. Seems like something everyone would want to do. But for some reason, folks just don't seem to understand the idea. They can't seem to picture a balloon carrying people in the sky. I've hardly been able to get anyone out here to see it in person. Anyhow, 
anyhow. Thanks for helping with the name, Traveller. Seems to me that you're full of good ideas. Uh oh. What if that's a terrible name? And I just messed up. Is this storm gonna stop? Storm stopping? Oh, yes! At 5.53. Oh, thank goodness. This means I can go over that bridge. And I think that bear that's standing at the bridge is what's his face is, what, what was it his brother? That we're gonna give uh, the pastries to? Who are you? Need a lift? No, thank you. All right, then. I'm good. I just got here. <laughs> thank God that rain stopped. Ah, 
Yes, a newcomer. May I see your reference letters, please? Nope, someone else. Uh, references? I'm afraid if you're seeking passage into Narva, you'll need three reference letters from citizens of Eastshade, signed and sealed. Okay, how do I get references? Well, you need to find people who are willing to vouch for your character and writing. Since you're a newcomer, you'll have to make some friends in the country. Will that be all, then? Why do I need references? No, I'm not going to ask why, because they want me to be a good person. Will that be all, then? Uh, that's all. Stay safe now. Thank you. So, it's another toll bridge, basically. Well, I wish I had gone up to them in the first place. Well, I know that maybe the bear dude will give me a reference letter, but... Oh god, it's already so late now, too. Uh, we could go back to the dude to paint the pompous person, and... Um, who else? Maybe the innkeeper. You know, we'll just talk to everybody we can, we can see. Probably have to. Why can't I pick you up? There we go. Probably have to go to sleep first. Cause it's gonna get cold like now. Wait, don't I have? Sure to keep you warm. There we go. So now I'll be, I'll be okay for a bit. Hmm? Pick a topic. Admission into Nava. Sure, I can vouch for you. You really got me out of a pinch there with that water fox. Thank you. One letter of reference. Have a good night. Now, hmm. I don't want to waste this, uh, need. But you know what? I guess it's not that big of a deal. I got this one for free, so. It's only 646. We'll wander around by the beach a little bit. See if we can find that person's amulet. Because there was a person on the beach who lost one. Would it be close by then? Or maybe that person over here wrote another song. Well, I don't know. Oops. Can I have that, please? Oh, look, they've got uh, little tents out. I messed up. Is this? Yeah, to hear my song again. I can use the practice. Uh, not at the moment. I just wanted to see your tents. Okay. wandering.
<clears throat> okay. We're gonna go to sleep for the night. I'm gonna take a quick break and then come back. I don't think, well, you know what? I'll go ahead and make another part just because this is already 46 minutes long. So yeah, we're gonna go to sleep. We're gonna go back to Lindo, get some reference letters and we're gonna get into Nava. That's what's gonna happen. So I'll see you guys in the next part. Bye-bye.